Welcome to Kick It with Bobby Joe. Today we have Nolan. Isn't he handsome? And we have Diana. Isn't she beautiful? And we might have Bobby Joe and Carla in just a minute. We're going to make blueberry ice cream. Y'all want to make some blueberry ice cream? Nolan, you want to make blueberry ice cream? Oh, everybody interested? Bobby Joe, welcome to the group. This is your channel, and you have been a little lazy today, laying over there on the air vent. Hot out there, isn't it? Miss Carla, you joining us too? We got a full kitchen. I have nowhere to walk. Bobby Joe, the star of our channel. It's all beautiful. She's had a, not a long, long nap, so she's had her beauty rest. All right, kiddos. Y'all ready to start cooking? We're really not cooking. We're blending. We're going to blend and freeze. And then, it's her tail in your eye. She's got a big fluffy tail. <coughs> I know you do. You going to tell us about it? Oh, get down. You gonna tell us about cooking ice cream, blueberries? <laughs> oh, I know you love blueberries. I know you smell that stuff up there. We're gonna have two cups of yogurt, some blueberries. That's probably about a cup and a half of blueberries, and two big scoops of peanut butter. And then we got some milk bones we're gonna put on top. All right, let's get started. Y'all ready to get started? All right, so this ice cream is super easy to make. You're gonna need two cups of yogurt. I just used um, whatever was on sale at Food City this week, and this is their brand of Greek yogurt. It's just plain Greek yogurt. And you're gonna pour in your blueberries. And these have been washed. You want to make sure you rinse your blueberries off good. And I'm using my big blender, not my little blender today. And I'm going to do one big scoop of peanut butter. When I say big scoop, I mean like a big wooden spoon. That's all you're gonna put in there. You're just gonna mix it all together. And you just turn your power on and you're gonna Okay, and once it's blended, I just pour it into a little measuring cup, a little bit of it. So it's easier to handle. Because this big thing's hard for me to handle with my sore hands. Then I have a muffin pan and I put the um, cupcake liners in there. And all you do is pour some of this into these liners. I think Bobby Joe went back to the air vent. So I've got Diane laid out in the floor. So I had already made this video one time last week. So they've already had this. They really like it. It's just my GoPro has some issues and deleted my memory card. So all of my footage got deleted and I had a lot of footage on there so now I'm recording on my phone again because I don't want to lose all of my footage again so I'm having to redo a lot of recipes that I planned on posting this week all right that's about it so let's just top off these that need a little bit more Mm. 
So this makes 12 ice cream cups. And you can use the mini muffins too. Use the mini muffin pan if you have smaller dogs and you don't want them to have so much ice cream at one time. But since I've already made this once, we've got some in the freezer so I can show you what it looks like when it's done. And I can go ahead and let the dogs try it, show you what they think about it. So now I just throw my little milk bones on top. I usually make homemade doggy milk bones, but I haven't lately. Still dealing with some post-COVID fatigue and all that lovely stuff, so. Alright, so that's all there is to it. Then you just stick it in the freezer. You do have to find room in your freezer for a muffin pan. But, the good news is once it's frozen, solid, you can store them in Ziploc freezer bags. And this is what they look like once they're done. This one's not as full as I usually do. You just fill that back. See? And you give it to your doggy. I'm going to take four out, and we're going to have an ice cream party. 